Okay, so hello folks and welcome to my new video. A person recently posed a question to me in which they asked, so they have a computer that recently died and they're about to head back to college and they want to purchase a MacBook Air because MacBook Airs just have a reputation for not breaking and that way they'll be able to complete their college education with the least amount of stress possible. So MacBook Airs start at 13 inch for $999 and I was like, that's ridiculous. And they were like, I know, but they could just take out a loan or use their credit card and just pay off the debt from that uh, over the next year or so. And then they went into like financing and they can find like 5% off at their college bookstore or something like that. So this is sort of a idea which many people have that Macs just don't break for some magical sort of reason. I want to totally discredit this. Windows computers tend to break down because people use them for a lot of, you know, computer intensive work such as playing video games, uh, you know, editing, doing a lot of stuff which just wears down the inside of the computer. Also, Macs are manufactured by Apple, and there's a very tight control on what software can or cannot be installed on the computer. Microsoft has recently started making its own line of computers, which it manufactures itself, and then installs Windows or a tablet-friendly version of Windows on, which it also makes itself. This is what I strongly believe is the future. And a lot of people are going to be like, well, I don't have the kind of money that's necessary to buy a Surface. And, you know, you look at this, $899, $2,999, that sort of stuff. That just looks outrageously expensive. And they're like, even Apple computers are cheaper than that. And I was like, but you don't need to get the one that can play really fancy video games, do you? And they're like, no. They, they said, I'm a science major, and I'm like, so basically what you need to do is you need to get an earlier version of that computer. And they're like, but I start school in a couple of days, and I need the computer, like, right now. So what they told me they were going to do is they're just going to go over to the local bookstore, uh, take out a, I, I hope they didn't take out too big of a loan, and then just pay it back over the next 23 months. And I kind of felt a little bad, but I realized there's probably a lot of other people out there who have this exact same question. Should they just go with a Mac, even though it's going to be more expensive and they'll go into debt? Or should they get something else or spend a little bit of time trying to find something else? I hope you found this YouTube video because if you did, this will show you what you need to do. So go over to Amazon and while you're here, uh, go to Amazon's search box and type Microsoft Surface. So once you get this uh, up here, you're going to see a bunch of different options. Firstly, ignore anything that's sponsored. Don't buy anything from sponsored vendors. Then you want to find something that has Windows 10 installed on it, because that's the latest version. So go down here. There's one for $348. You're like, well, how am I going to type on it? They come with a keyboard, I believe. Um, so if we scroll down a little bit... Um, well, I guess you'd have to buy a separate keyboard with it. But different surfaces vary on what they come with. Basically, this thing will come out to, I'm guessing, so what, what's the total price going to be? $473, so that's under $500. If you already have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. And the shipping speed, since it's through Amazon, you know, you could get it by today's the 21st, so you'd get it by the 23rd 
So you can get like two day shipping. Sometimes you can get same day shipping. And since it's sold by Microsoft and it's fulfilled by Amazon, that means even though there is a third party that is selling it right here, since it's fulfilled by Amazon, which means it's in an Amazon warehouse right now, you'll get it very, very soon. So a lot of people are going to be like, well, it, it's probably just like all other Windows computers. It's just going to break down. Well, not exactly. It's a Microsoft computer with Windows software installed on it. And the difference here is that Microsoft makes Windows. They also make the computer. That's almost the same thing as Apple making the MacBook and making the OS Leopard or whatever they install on the computer. Then, so, so this is what I recommend you go with, something that you find on Amazon, basically an earlier version of the Microsoft Surface. The only difference you would generally want is like how big you want the screen size to be. That's honestly the only thing you'd want different. You can run all the main software on this, like you can run Windows. Uh, so obviously it's Windows, but then you can run things like Microsoft Office. You can browse Facebook, just do anything you normally do on a computer. But since the computer is compatible with, you know, uh, Office and all those sort of things, you can do all of your school work on this computer without having to worry about, well, is this piece of software made for Macs? And do I need to install any of those weird little cables to connect my USB drives or stuff to? Because it's a Microsoft computer. It's a Windows computer. So I hope that I've helped a good amount of you save a lot of money. One final side note, do not go to places like eBay. Don't go to sort of secondhand websites, stuff like that. Just stay off those. Go Stick with Amazon.com. If I helped anyone save money, please do comment below. I really hope this video is going to help people. If it did, I will be so happy. Please do like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you all back in a future video. Thanks for watching. Bye.